uh, episode two of Six Watts Per Kilo Journey. So what we're going to go through this week really is my latest five minute test and why I actually think maybe it could happen this year. So anyway, we, the last five weeks of training, so I did a five week block, not very exciting. Basically every week was the same. I had two threshold sessions and then normally two kind of lower intensity, well, per block. So it's like threshold and then just like some zone three stuff more or less every time. I did some long rides, I did some six hour rides. Uh, I did some seven hour rides here as well. So like it was fine. I did some VO2 stuff, kind of like some some threshold stuff to VO2, kind of eight minutes, which is nice. Uh, I went to the gym, getting stronger in the gym again. Not as good as I was this time last year, but but decent. And then we did some panic VO2 stuff, 30, 30s, 40, 20s, um, and some nice threshold stuff here as well, which is really promising. So some of these were nice. Um, I think here I did six by 10 minutes at 315 watts, 310 watts, something like that, which was good. And then this one again was like three by 10 at 330 or something or 320. So that was good. Then I had a really big rest, rest week, actually. Something that I really quite like doing is on the rest weeks is just going on the vibe of the motivation. So sometimes I just am not motivated to ride. So I just won't like, I think it was on Thursday I was supposed to ride the day before my five minute max. And I was just like, nah, it's just not happening. Like it was bad weather. And I was like, I just need to save this motivation for later. Uh, anyway, then I went out, did my five minute max test, which was really good. And the reason I do five minute max tests is because it's kind of seen from other people that comparing five minute and 20 minute is actually quite useful. Uh, because you can see kind of how aerobic anaerobic are. It's obviously not the same as doing maybe a 3 and 12, which is what a lot of people do, but it, but it's quite similar. So anyway, I did it on Box Hill and because I'm back in London for a bit, and it's not a great hill. You can see I had some big no pedaling. So this bit here was like 26 seconds of 316 watts, but it's kind of like, it's pretty cooked, this part here. Like we had 14 seconds at 270 watts. And Ultimately, this is a hairpin where if there's a car there, you can't pedal around it because it's too you're going too quick to get around it. So you've got to kind of ease off the gas a bit. Uh, and then at the end, I also, you can see like the power came off significantly because again, another hairpin and then the car just parked there. But it was about 398 watts, which my Wahoo got normalized 399. So it doesn't really matter like, you know, three watts here or there is decent. 6.8 is pretty wrong. It's probably 6.6. Like uh, I'm like 61 kilos at the moment. So that's not... We're not too far off the weight I said that was 59 so we've got like two kilos to go which I reckon isn't a major difference but this is my third best five minute power of all time which is kind of promising because it makes me think that even though maybe I haven't done loads of uh, vo2 stuff I'm actually a lot higher than I was so you can see like the previous ones were before so I had a big crash where I like broke my leg and brain and back and wrist and loads of stuff but I also changed power meter which could be a more deciding thing so you can see I did like 400 watts for for five minutes in 2019 uh so yeah that and also did like 394 watts in 2018 so you can see like these power numbers and that was 394 they're all from so long ago all on a stages power meter so you might say they're wrong but my point is basically like i'm back to similar level of this and here i was doing 350 for 20 zero stress so that's why i'm quite kind of excited and you can see like this was a, an erroneous power file um i should, should just remove that because that was not good um but like recently you can see like 386 watts was what i did um last year obviously on my info crank maybe a bit harsh but it was just before martinique and i was going really well then like probably my best ever uh kind of my best stage race of the year so to go 12 watts far higher and also like the speed wise we were similar obviously is box hills very fast so it's really hard to tell but you can see here like even you know when i was doing hill climbs i did 382 I think I did three six here, but you can see like I really was basically capped from twenty twenty. So after my crash, like that, my best efforts all here. You can see like three eighty six, three eighty six, three eighty two, three eighty two. Like I just couldn't do any more. And you can see like look how many there are all at the three eighties range. And for me, it goes to show that actually like I have stepped up a decent level this winter. I think, or I've changed parameters. But we're not going to say that. We're going to say I stepped up, and then actually like we are a lot a lot stronger than I think I have been in the past, which is really promising. For me and i think it goes to show that actually maybe the the threshold stuff uh is going to be higher than i think and then this interval session here again is is something that i i saw again it's like uh it's a bit different to what you'd normally do where maybe you do four minutes on four minutes off so it's bigger recovery but then you have a lot bigger surges so you can see that like 30 seconds uh, uh where's the power 460 three minutes 350 30 seconds 460 but uh this second one i did 380 watts which again like 
is maybe not crazy for some people, but I'm really, really bad at these. I find them so hard. So to do this kind of three minutes, 55, 380 watts for me is really promising. And I think it goes again to show like the VO2 is a lot higher than I, I previously have done. I used to just do these at like 360 and they'd really be difficult. And obviously the surge makes it a lot harder. But anyway, I think basically conclusion is six watts per kilo. It, it's highly likely that it will happen this year is my conclusion. I think power wise, can I do 355 watts for 20 minutes? I think I will be able to do that. So it's really just the 59 kilo part of it or doing 360. But I think 360 is a bit too much, but I think it's going promising. So the next kind of block is mainly focusing just on some anaerobic capacity stuff. Uh, so 90 second effort, some, some spikes as well, just to get used to racing. Uh, and then I've got again like some some more kind of uh, I think these are 30 15s uh, and then one and a half minutes uh, and then this is my first race on the 2nd of March so that'll be interesting just to see how it goes uh, I was supposed to have a stage race in April but I think it might not be happening now which is kind of a shame but we're doing a 20 minute test on the 7th of March hopefully uh, go and do it on a proper climb and I believe it should be good I reckon 340 345 which would be nice maybe a bit higher but that will be a good kind of indication. And then I'm really just got a lot of racing uh, coming up, which will be good. Good to see how the legs are. And hopefully I think I'll have a stage race later in the year, maybe May. Uh, that May or June, there's definitely two I know I'm doing, but or hopefully doing. But uh, yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, let me know. And yeah, cheers for watching. See you in the next one.